Oh, I finally did it. I did a video almost every day of the week, and it feels good. And I want to relax, which is why I have pillows, but I can't let myself relax yet because I still have to make this video. The reason being that at the time of me recording this, it is Friday evening, um, and I'm hoping to put it out as soon as I finish recording it, which means no edits. I get just get to embarrass myself in front of the camera, in front of, I don't know, 20 people. Fantastic. But I'm recording this on Friday night because I've been trying to put out videos every day as part of my new schedule, which I'll get back, I'll get to that in a moment. And I did not put out a video yesterday on Thursday because I was tired and I had other stuff that I was doing. So I put out a video earlier today in the afternoon and I'm putting out one now because I did not want to put out one tomorrow for two reasons. One, it would I would feel like I was cheating myself and it would give myself leniency to push videos and be like, oh, I missed Friday, I'll just put it out Saturday. Or, oh, I didn't do Saturday, I'll put it out Sunday. Or just be like, oh, why do it Sunday? I can just like save content and do it Monday. But I'm like, no, then I'm not putting it out every single day like I want to. So I'm not gonna cheat myself um, and let myself take it easy. And two, it's my mom's birthday tomorrow and I am not working at all. I'm not gonna be doing anything so, except, except doting on her, and she doesn't know it yet, but, you know, like, unveiling her presents and all that stuff, so, I'm not, I'm not gonna be working, I'm not gonna be doing anything, I'm gonna be focusing on her, because birthdays have always been big in my family, you know, we get, we get a couple days a year, you know, we get, we get the winter holidays, and we get our birthdays, those are the only two times a year that we ever get, like, treated really really special i mean we do nice things for each other pretty often but that's whenever we decide to go all out and so it's always a big deal for us and i like to not do any work or anything like that on my family's birthdays but i've been trying to put out videos every single day monday through friday actually my recording schedule that i'm trying to do is videos monday through friday with Legend Land Tale of the Nameless God coming out on the weekend, one chapter split across Saturday and Sunday. If some things that I have planned start to all come together, and I might talk about that later in other videos, but right now I have a few things that I'm wanting to do that if they all come together well, hopefully I can start writing other things and producing better content and putting that stuff out you know, videos remaining consistent, but putting out more writing and just not, not just on the weekends. But this way I'm giving you guys content every single day, uh, in some form or another. And it gives me a break from recording for a couple of days, and it gives me a break from writing for a few days, just to be able to give my best to both of them. And you'll probably notice a pattern coming out with my videos, uh, because I want a few things to happen every single week. I want to have the writing skits and like comedy stuff happen once a week because I like doing that. I like trying to flex my creative muscles and that way and actually try and be funny uh, because I don't feel I'm good at it all the time. I'm just good at like making offhand remarks and I like putting myself into scenarios where I have to actually act and do skits and the like and I have to set things up and do costume changes and a whole bunch of stuff that I actually enjoy. And it gives me a chance to kind of like learn from other YouTubers who have done things like that. You know, I take particular inspiration from Niga Higa and a lot of his skits that he does. And I want to do that in a more like writing or authorly literature kind of form. And then I also want to do author news every single week because I feel it's something unique I actually bring to the table. Whenever it comes to writing news, I don't notice a lot of things happen. It's just not in my face a lot. And I'll be like, oh, this writer died Why didn't it? two months ago. Why didn't I find that out until just now? And so even if not a lot of people are, you know, like watching author news or anything like that or watching my videos in general, I still am proud of doing it for me and for anybody who is watching because I feel I'm providing a valuable service and it's something not everybody else is doing. And I have a lot of fun with it, uh, like finding articles, even if I don't have like an actual set and stuff. I mean, I would, I would like to do like a Ruben Report style like show with it, but you know, maybe, maybe in the future. But I, I like, I like testing the waters out with it now. And then besides the skits and the author news, I would like to do um, a couple writers' corner videos a week, just giving writing tips. You know, just helping out the best way that I can. And they're probably gonna be a little shorter than they have been in the past and a little less comprehensive just because of the content that I'm doing every single day. But hopefully you guys will mind 
and you'll still be able to glean some sort of helpful tips and hints from them. Um, and then on Fridays, I really just want to do a kind of free form, no edit, um, no cuts, it's just ranting and updating you guys on what I've been doing. Um, so, you know, these videos could be like five minutes, they could be like 30 minutes by the end of the week. It, it really, it really depends on just what I've had going on um, that, that week. So we have a lot to catch up on because I'm sure you've noticed not only has my upload schedule changed, but for a while it changed nothing. I was uploading nothing for two months, just no content. I had some chapters backlogged for Legend Land Tale of the Nameless Gods. So I, I have those, I had those coming out. Um, but I've, I've kind of run out of those too. And I had no videos backlog because, you know, it's difficult and I change. And if I look the same all the time and my hair is the same all the time, you guys will catch on because, you know, I like to think I have a smart audience. And um, I, I just like to think that 20 geniuses are watching me every day. <laughs> but I had no content coming out and that was for a couple of reasons. Um, for like the first month or so, it was just because uh, I was feeling lethargic and unmotivated. And I had different, I had a different focus. Elizabeth and I have kind of set a timeline for whenever we want to move out. And I had a different focus, just kind of like, oh my God, how am I going to be an adult on my own? And so I've been like picking up books and like watching videos and just like trying to mentally prepare myself for that. And additionally, Elizabeth did come down. She came down for um, over a month yeah, for, uh, at the end of summer break because she got off of college. Now she's back, you know, studying to be an artist. So, but she got, she got off and we, we took a vacation that she really needed because she worked so hard, not just doing a lot of stuff for me, not just doing like a lot of research and helping with me with social media or like editing stuff and all that. Uh, you know, just like being me whenever I can't be me, but she also does school and she has a job at a gallery and she has a second job at Spirit whenever it's in season and she does so much and I'm just like at home creating. So uh, she definitely needed a vacation and I just decided to tag along, you know, just get her out of Connecticut and down here. Um, but she she came down we had a lot of fun we taught each other lots of stuff we you know i got a lot of new shirts i got a lot of a lot of new stuff i got new masks i got new games she got some stuff we played games together and just had a blast i got lots and lots of new books as you guys can probably see what was that way on the shelf you know just just lots of cool stuff that i've really really enjoyed having and getting and just having those experiences with her we went um a couple days to new orleans um, New Orleans, Nolens. We went there. Uh, I got I got sick for a few days, actually, or almost six days. I don't know if it was the food or what. Oh, it was good while I was eating it, though. And we had a hotel. We felt like actual adults, you know. But we have no bills, so it was kind of easy. And New Orleans is only four hours four hours away, so it was it was cool for us. She'd never been. I had. Um, ultimately, it's a city with a lot of culture, but I'm not sure I would go back for a third time just because I don't like it enough. There's a lot of people, it's cramped, it's crowded, it's a city, you know, and I don't really care for that. Uh, I don't care for cities. I like being away from them. You know, like I like being with an easy 20, 30 minute drive of a city, but then, you know, like retreating to my rider log cabin or <laughs> my mountain, my isolationist mountain retreat or something like that, but just, you know, do, 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 down to the valley and visiting with, you know, hundreds of thousands of people all in one in just the area that's that's perfect but we went we had vacation and just had lots of fun and so I didn't feel like creating anything during that time um, just because you know, she was she was here and I wanted to really focus on her and now now she has actually been one of the motivations for me to just do this now to produce content to uh, make money uh, also because I want to have a local presence where I am in the panhandle of Florida. And I also want to have a pretty continuous online presence. And I can't do that if I'm not creating content, not putting myself in people's faces, not letting people know that like I am on their radar and trying to find launch pack clients, you know, all of, all of that stuff, things to promote the book, promote me and get people to pay me to help them finish their books and all of that stuff. And I have, uh, I've, uh, it's been it's been it's been fun. It's been fun. Certain aspects of it, um, you know, there are business aspects that I don't really like. My family helps me with that. Um, but 
I've, I've been having fun. It's just the content creation is what I really, really enjoy. So to recap, that's why I haven't, didn't put anything out over the last couple of months. I had different priorities uh, that I was focusing on. And while I could have focused both on content creation and like preparing myself to move out uh, within the fr time frame that we've set, uh, I didn't. I didn't do that. I could have, but I don't want to make that very clear. I could have focused on both and done just as good of a job, but I did not. Maybe because I wanted to have an excuse, maybe because I felt I needed a break, maybe, I don't know, I got scared, or uh, it was just easier to be lazy, uh, because I've, I've determined that's what I was, was lazy. And I don't know what it was, but that's, that's, what, that's what happened. I chose to focus on only one thing, and to do that, honestly, subparly, to be honest. So, you know, that's, that's what's happened. But in the past week or so, and actually in the past month since Elizabeth has been here and then when, and whenever she left, I've been feeling more motivated and starting to do more things. You know, I've incorporated content creation now, and I'm going to get more back into the marketing and business swing of it. You know, so I've been trying to reach back out to places that had me before and Halloween season is big for Legendland and for me in general because I really like it. So it'll be it'll be fun and I've just been planning out my content and trying to get everything done. Um, do some bulk recording, but I don't always like to do that uh, just because sometimes I like recording that day and you know just having that come out w the same day that I do it. And sometimes my videos won't come out until the early morning, you know, one or two in the morning. Uh, but since I haven't gone to bed, it's still technically, it's, it's still like the same day to me, even if it's technically the next day. So I count it. Um, so if you, if any of you guys are like, oh, it's technically Tuesday and your Monday video just came out on Tuesday. Yeah, well, you know, I, I got busy. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. I have not, I did not sleep until I put it out. So it's the same day to me. All right. If my head did not hit that pillow, then it is still Monday. <laughs> Even if it's three in the morning on Tuesday, but anyway, you know it's it's been it's been a challenge for me to actually get back into this, and I just want to apologize to anybody out there because I felt I was letting people down. I was letting my family down, who put so much effort into me. My dad, who helps me manage a lot of business stuff, who actively like promotes me and stuff, and I was just like I wasn't responding to some of the stuff he was sending me. Um, I, was, I wasn't reaching out to places like I should have. I wasn't hustling like I really should have been. And I'm trying to change that. And like I said, I started with, I'm starting with content creation and then working the other stuff in there. And I'm trying to make sure that everybody has their time feeling valued, both my family, Elizabeth, my friends, and all of you out there who do take the time out of your days to watch my videos, to read my stories, to interact with me on social media and just to be part of my extended life. And thank you all so much for doing that because primarily you don't have to, and you still do. And it means, it does mean a lot to me. Um, you know, but what are, what's some of the fun stuff I've been doing? What are fun things that I have been doing? I don't know, existing. Existing has actually been fun. I'm actually feeling, like despite the sardonic, like rambling tone I've, I've adopted for this video, I have actually been feeling really good since I've been doing this. It's given me a feeling of purpose and helped shake off the lethargy, lethargy that, that I've been feeling. So I've been, I hit, I've been hitting the gym harder, you know, so it, it's been making me feel good about myself. I am, I am so sore, just everywhere, all over. The worst part is I've increased shorter workouts, especially on my traps, which is right here and connecting to your neck. And being sore on your shoulders is like having a, a sunburn on your shoulders. No matter what you do, even just like having clothes rub against it, it almost feels like it hurts. It's like, oh, well, you know, if your biceps are sore, you just don't curl something. You just don't, you pick it up differently. With your shoulders, it's like, oh, you move your arm and it moves your shoulder a little bit. And it's just like these micro movements that are just infuriatingly painful. Um, you know, and just like a, a sore, mild sore kind of way. I bent down one day, I, I squatted down to grab something. <laughs> somebody somebody was like oh you're too young to have back problems and I'm like well now I have a you problem okay <laughs> but, <laughs> but I was just like no I don't it's not my back it's my quads I worked them out really hard and they're just like oh quads are the new knees everybody's complaining about them I don't know what to tell you they hurt I'm sorry I'm sorry for my weakness like I don't know 
but uh, I've been working out. I've been working out extra hard, and it's been making me feel better about myself physically. Um, and then this stuff has been making me feel good. Uh, Productivity-wise, I haven't written anything in a little bit besides scripts and outlines. So I'm looking forward to writing more content uh, for Na Tale of the Nameless God. And I've been brainstorming and outlining and writing some stuff down and getting some stuff planned. So I'm looking forward to feeling creatively good as well because I love that feeling. And the more people that like read that, just the better it is for me. Um, so shameless plug, just read, read my content and tell everybody else to as well. Um, I know that came across as really really awful in how I portrayed that, but what I meant to say, and this is, this is why I hate not doing cuts, because all of my charm is just through the edits that I make and the careful planning and preparation, because just unfiltered, I ramble and don't know how to speak, I have lots of weird pauses, I don't know how to say things properly, and you know, like every time I get up and I give a speech, or I do talk, or I talk, I do talking, I do the talking thing, anytime I talk in front of a crowd or whatever, or I have... I have everything planned. I've rehearsed for over a week, probably probably a month, because I plan things in advance. You know, whenever I do book signings, I have set conversational pieces. You know, I like to give the illusion of being of being like um, of being naturally good at conversing, but I think these unfiltered videos prove that I have a lot of stuff to learn, and that's okay. I don't even remember my, my original point, but whenever I'm able to like creatively. Um, flex my muscles and feel good creatively and whenever people actually do read my stories you know because whenever I write something yeah I do it for me yeah I do it for the people I know and the fact that I like it and they like it is good and that is enough for me but financially it's not I'm good and whenever I don't have a lot of people reading my stories and I feel like well how am I going to make this financially viable if nobody wants to read it because on one hand, I feel like shamelessly just shoving in people's faces is a no-no, and nobody will respect that, and I won't respect myself. But I also don't want to just hem all around it and say things like, oh, well, you know, if you have the time, if you, if you could check out my stories and buy my works and stuff, I'd really appreciate that. No. Like, I want you to buy it. <laughs> I want you to buy it so I can have money, so I, I can afford to move out and, you know, like, pay for electricity and food. And all, all of those, all of those things that I enjoy having. So I feel caught uh, in, the, in the situations where I have shameless self-promotion and plugging my own works, um, but then also at the same time, I don't want to do that and I don't want to come across as standoffish or demanding where to fully like enjoy, like for you to fully have my gratitude and thanks, you have to buy my works, no. Like the fact that you take time out of your day, as I've said, to watch my videos to read my stuff is just phenomenal because you don't have to but whenever people pay money and support me in a monetary fashion it just it's I hate that it's I feel like that it's unbelievable you know like I in a weird way I hate that I feel so much like warmth and gratitude because like why why do creators have to like strive all the time just to get like one person to notice them and I'm not going to get into that because there's a lot of great people, there's a lot of creative people, so that means there's a lot of competition. And I don't mind that. I don't mind that because, you know, that means that we all get better. Um, you know, but there's only so much you can do sharing your work on, on sites with other people because eventually, like, that noise will, even though all that noise is filled with great content that deserves to be read, it still pulls away from yours. And so there's still, there's still stuff there that, you know, you have to you have to deal with and so if if you guys see me urging you to buy legend land more in the future or things like that or urging you maybe not to sign up for launchpad yourself but to recommend it to other people and to you know push for that on my behalf this is why because i do have uh, an agenda which makes it sound so sinister but I want to move out. I want to get out there and be my own person with Elizabeth in our own place. And I want to be able to at least do half of the financial work there uh, and, and like half of the providing for each other because we're a partnership. And so if you guys see me pushing my own works more, urging you guys and being 
a little more insistent on, hey, like, comment, subscribe, tell other people about it, ring the bell, read my stuff, engage with me on social media, you know, buy Legend Land, tell other people about it, you know, tell, um, tell like authors you know about Launchpad, you know, because that's that's really helps me financially. Launchpad does it. That is like the biggest source of monetary income I have right now. Um, that's that's why because I have objectives that I'm trying to achieve, and I feel like I've been letting people down, and I don't want to do that anymore. Which means I have to push harder, and sometimes that means pushing onto my audience. Um, and maybe that's a really bad way to look at it, but I don't know, like, right now, my YouTube audience and the people who read my stories, like, you guys are all I've got, and I don't want to lose you, but, you know, like, I also still need, I still need your assistance and help and support, and I really appreciate everybody who's stuck with me, not just over the past couple of months who have been like, oh, I'm glad you're finally back, well, yeah, me too. Uh, I'm glad I finally popped back into existence, but not just those people who've stuck with me over the past couple of months. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but I've been on YouTube for like three years now, okay? That makes me like a, that, that, I don't know, like that's, that's like a third of PewDiePie's um, channel life, I'm just saying. And, you know, I, I appreciate the people who have stuck with me through all of that time. And it weirds me out to think that somebody who might have been you know, 15 at the time of watching my videos is now a legal adult. And that is scary, and it makes me feel old, even though I'm not. So, anyway, I want to thank you all for not only taking the time to read my stories, but also, and watch my videos, but also for having stuck with me, and for being patient with me during all of my swings and different objectives, and for being patient with me whenever I am. You know, telling people, telling you all to, you know, check out Legend Land and to tell people about Launchpad and all that stuff because you guys are my greatest inspiration and also, but also my greatest resource that I have at my disposal. Um, so beyond all of that, let's let's do a, a few personal things. This video is probably gonna be an hour long, Jesus. <laughs> so let's let's do some personal stuff, and then I will, um, and then I'll stop recording and you all can finally sleep. So, what have I been doing personally? I've been playing some games, um, because that has been actually been inspiring me in a creative way. Uh, and I've been looking forward to some games, actually, as well. So I've been playing the game Dead Cells, which is a dungeon-crawling roguelike RPG, similar to Castlevania games, where you get different equipment and it gets more powerful as you go through it. But also some of the RPG stuff where you can upgrade it, increase your stats and all of that. But if you die, you have to start all the way at the beginning. But certain enchanted items and stuff that you unlock are still there and you just have to find them again. So it's been really cool because it makes me feel like I'm playing a new game every single time. And I've been, you know, kind of experimenting with the idea of roguelike stuff with creating games myself. Because I've been doing that in my free time, creating games. I got a Dungeon Master tile set. I've been playing D&D with some friends. And I've been trying to get in a game creation space as well because I have a few ideas. And writing is just one of the ways I like to express myself creatively. So I've been playing that. I've been playing the Telltale series Walking Dead. Um, not the newest one that came out, <laughs> the, the season three. I've been playing season three because I'm late to the party. But I've been really enjoying it. I've been playing that. Um, some Overwatch, just like some. I don't know, some normal games. <laughs> oh, I played, I've been playing Persona 5 as well. It's super fun. One of my friends highly recommended it to me. So I've been playing that. It's just, it's such a time sink. I try not to play it too much. I try not to play games at all and, and very much, just like an hour a day, if that. Um, I've been doing lots of reading. I ran a book club over the summer at a local library. So I've been doing lots of reading. A lot of the books I got were because of that. But it rekindled my love for reading because until that point I'd just been, I hadn't read in a while. I'd read for school and then I was done with school so I'd read whenever I want and then I would get busy as I told myself but I would still have time to watch TV at the end of the night. So I've been reading more. In addition to making games and playing games, I've been reading. Currently I am reading, I had to have this right next to me because I didn't want to awkwardly get up and, or do a cut for this, since I said no cuts. So I've been reading 100 Deadly Skills by Clint Emerson, former retired Navy SEAL as well as, I guess he was in SEAL Team 6 and worked with NSA and all that stuff. And it is, um, it's basically has like a bunch of different skills and summaries of skills that you should know um, to do things like 
I don't know, enter a foreign country if you have to, <laughs> dispose of a dead body, uh, you know, how to make improvised weapons, um, how to to how to do surveillance, how to lose a tail, different things like that, and also like how to escape capture, how to avoid like hazardous situations in terms of like crowds, riots, or anything of the sort, and just you know like how to be more uh, capable in terms of a, a semi-deadly fashion. Um, you know, I feel like it's directed towards the same people who buy like a. Uh, you know, 10 things you're gonna need in the zombie apocalypse, or like 4 essential things you're gonna need for your go pack, or, you know, the, that stuff. You know, like, preparedness people. Uh, I feel this really rings true for them. I like it because it gives me a lot of cool stuff that I didn't know. Like, did you know that you can make plastic using milk, vinegar, and a strainer? I did not, by the way, but that's super cool. Did you know that you can use a baby monitor up to like 100 feet away to act just like record people? I did not, but that's kind of cool. Did you know that you can make a club out of wet newspaper, duct tape, and a nail? I didn't, but now I do. You know, there's just like a lot of random, like, I like to know a lot, uh, I like to know a little about a lot, and this helps me with that as well. Um, yeah, but it, I will say, it goes from 0 to 60 really quickly. Just like insanely fast. Because the first few things it talks about, the first few skills it talks about in 100 Deadly Skills. It's like, okay, here's what you need if and you go back for your car. Here's what you should be carrying on you on, on a daily basis. You know, like, carry some cash, you know, carry, carry a gun or something for self-defense. You know, here, here's what you should have in, like, a messenger bag if you have it. Um, here's what you should do to, like, plan an escape route out of your house. And here's what you need to stick up your butt if you get stripped naked and captured in a foreign country. And I'm like, oh, wow, that escalated quickly. Here... <laughs> Here's your rectal repository for everything you're gonna need to, you know, escape this underground militia. <laughs> so it just went zero to sixty really fast. I was not expecting it. Um, you know, but it's been it's been cool to see some of the skills, and I want to try a lot of this stuff, like making a like making a homemade taser out of a disposable camera and nails. But the thing is, um, I also don't want to electrocute myself or like accidentally mess something up you know I don't want to like like if you if you heat the flint of a disposable lighter and then throw it on the ground it creates a flash like a flashbang or like a one-time use thing I don't want to mess that up and have it explode in my hands and lose fingers because I need those to write so I've been really hesitant to actually try any of the things that I've learned in here um, one of my favorite favorite things besides learning how to make plastic and like surveillance stuff and, and I also like that it does like counter surveillance and like how to protect yourself as a civilian you know so you don't need to be all aggressive and trying to capture like it's you know how to how to get out of handcuffs or zip ties how to if somebody's following you in a car or you know if you have to drive defensively or offensively how to do things like that like it has some practical worst case scenario like if you're if everybody just starts losing their minds on the highway here's how you get through that stuff like that one of my favorite things it's just the multitude of ways you can use a roll of quarters. Just like an obscene amount of uses for a roll of quarters I, uh, and nails. Rolls of quarters and nails is like your number one things. And, and, and like whenever, whenever, whenever the worst thing just hits the fan and like it's all sprayed everywhere. What you're going to want at the end of the day is like a roll of quarters and a handful of nails and some duct tape apparently. That's like the best thing you could have. And a preparedness situation, but you know, I didn't like you don't think about it. But you hold a roll of quarters, and your hand, if you go to throw a punch, your hand's heavier now, it's gonna hurt more whenever you punch somebody. You put a roll of quarters in a sock, you swing that sock around, now you have an improvised flail. You stick a couple of nails through a roll of quarters, and um, you know, now, now you have <sighs> very fun brass knuckles, and you just whack get somebody with. Put a roll of quarters in your coat pocket, so if you have to draw from a concealed holster. Uh, you, you sling your coat back behind your waist and the, the quarters keep it anchored there so you have an unobstructed um, view, I guess, or path to draw your weapon. Quarters, man. But I've been reading, I've been reading that and it's been, it's been actually really cool. Um, just taking time whenever I, whenever I can, you know, and breaks and, you know, eating and stuff like that whenever I normally wouldn't be able to do anything, just finding the moments in the day to read. And I've, I've been, re I've read a lot of books. I've, I've read like, all fifth, like 15 books in the last two months, which is a, a lot for me. I'm not one of those people who's like, I need to read a book every week. No, but it, you know, it's been cool. 
I've been really enjoying it. And I've been playing games, and I've been listening to mu new music. I unironically like the new Attila album, and I don't, I don't like that I do, but I do. I've been listening to the rapper Jake Hill because he says some stuff that I like and that I agree with. Uh, I've been listening to the, some new Browning stuff. These are all metal or rap, by the way. Um, I've been listening to, I've been re-listening to the King 810 album La Petite Mort uh, or Conversation with God. And that's been really inspiring me for some of the stuff that I'm going to have to do in Tale of the Name of God. Because it's about to get dark. It's about to get really dark. And it's not going to be fun for a couple of chapters. I mean, you'll probably laugh because you're sick, twisted individuals like me. But it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be dark. And so I've been listening to that. I've been listening to Drusif Stalin's musical endeavors or musical experience. DSME. He's metal, but he has a very wide range. And I love that. Um, and I've been taking some inspiration for comedy as well from some of the videos I've been watching. In terms of TV, I have not been watching a lot. I've just been watching YouTube and reading and listening to music and playing a few games. Um, for TV, I guess if I've been watching anything, I've been watching Disenchantment or Disenchanted or whatever. Uh, that new Matt Groening series that despite people uh, on Netflix, that despite people being like, Oh, it's not as good as The Simpsons. Well, of course not. He's old and jaded. What do you expect? But it's not bad in my opinion. Like, I laugh every episode, um, and it's not something I have to look too deep into. And I saw Deadpool too. so like, I have my comedy fill for like the next two years, so. But, uh, it's, it's been good. It's actually been good for me. And I know this video has went past 30 minutes now, so, whew, we'll see how many people have watched the entire thing. Um, but like I said, I'm not gonna do cuts, so if I messed up at all, everybody gets to see it. I don't really know how to end a video without being able to cut though. I used to know how whenever I did one take videos, but now I just feel like I should keep talking until I fall asleep. I'm not going to do that because I still haven't eaten dinner and it's almost midnight. So I'm hungry. Maybe that's how I'll end it. With food. But to recap, just in case you watch the first few minutes, like let's see if he says anything interesting at the end. To recap. The reason I did not do anything in the last couple months was because I had different focuses and I was feeling lazy, lethargic, and was letting people down, and I don't want to do that anymore. Additionally, Elizabeth came down for a vacation and we had a blast, and I prioritized the focus on her other than anything else. Even if that was selfish, I don't feel too bad about it. I have been endeavoring to release videos every single day, Monday through Friday, with um, stories written on the weekends. Uh, updates for Tale of the Nameless God, and other stuff if future plans hold together. I've been pushing myself to find new launchpad clients, so if anybody you know, you think could benefit from launchpad, launchpad, please send them my way. And I have been reading, doing game design, and playing games, and listening to a lot of music, in addition to exercising harder than I have in like a year. Because I've been doing like the same workouts for a while. So I switched it up, and I hurt now. So that was that was the recap of this 30 minute long rant that was ultimately unnecessary. I think these videos are probably going to be my least popular videos that people watch, the Friday ones, because I'm just I'm just going to be not personable and um, rambling, and maybe you'll get to hear like my awkward opinions or my opinions on things that will feel awkward because they aren't opinions that a lot of people have. Or maybe they are and just not a lot of people express them. Anyway, you're going to get to know the real me in these Friday videos. So, <laughs> fun. Plus, it's an easy day for me. Because I just get to record and I don't have to edit. And I thank you guys all for being so patient and understanding about that. Anyway, uh, I hope you all did enjoy this video. Or um, at least had something to go in the background to help you deal with insomnia or something like that. It was fun for me to record because uh, I like being able to get all this stuff off my chest. I hope you focused on the parts that were succinct and that gave you a clear idea of what I'm going to be doing and what I have been doing and the reasons for both of those things. And I hope that the other rambling parts were just entertaining in kind of like an old senile kind of way where you know you shouldn't laugh but you do anyway. So I'm sorry if my personality just turned you off of this video. But I hope that overall you still all enjoyed it, um, or at least some of you did. Anyway, 
since this is Friday, um, this will be the last video of the week. I will be putting out new videos starting on Monday, and I will be endeavoring to get Legend Land Tale of the Nameless God out on Saturday and Sunday. If not tomorrow, because it's my mom's birthday, then at least on Sunday. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Um, please stick around until next week, and I will see you all then. Bye.